to my YouTube channel. My name is Katie. I am a second year medical student. So 2020 was the year of many things and especially the year of online learning. In medical school, obviously, it's a little bit more challenging to learn online and find credible online resources. So today I have put together a very comprehensive list of all of the YouTube channels I have found that have been very useful for me through pre-med, first year of medical school, and now even the second year of medical school. Obviously, these are not every single YouTube channel out there that are medically related. These are just ones that I have found to be actually useful and give very good information in a more easily understandable presentation, if that makes sense. Just before we get into the video, don't forget to click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos from me. And also, if I leave any YouTube channels out that you absolutely love or swear by for medical school, please leave those down in the comments so I can check them out because I, I probably need them. Also, I will have all of these linked below so you can just click on see more and you'll see all the links and it will go directly to these different channels. So the first channel, the first two channels actually, are more of a undergrad level of understanding, but I thought they were super useful for undergrad and even just to refresh your memory in medical school. So I just wanted to include them in this video. The first one is called Professor Dave Explains. This one is a little bit quirky, but I definitely think that he does a really good job of explaining some of the scientific topics. Um, so definitely check him out. The second one is called Crash Course. I don't know how you have survived this long without learning about Crash Course. Um, they have every single type of topic, all the way from history to science to medicine to psychology. I don't know, they have, literally have everything. And they do such a good job of like presenting it with um, like graphics and animation. And I think it's actually really useful. I used it all the time in high school. I used it all the time in undergrad and yeah I, I do find myself still using it every now and then just because honestly the videos are pretty good. Okay now getting into a little bit more of the medical school level of education. A lot of these channels are like broad like they'll cover multiple different topics throughout medical school um, and a couple of them are more focused on anatomy and then some of them are just kind of random you'll see as we go through them. A couple of these also I want to note that some of them have like paid um external websites connected to the YouTube channel but uh, the YouTube is obviously free so I don't know I'm including them anyway you don't have to pay for any of these they're all free but like I said if you want more detailed information some of them have like paid subscriptions um, so the first one that falls into that category is called Lecturio Lecturio I think um, they do every single type of like medical topic um, I guess their kind of premise is for step one, step two prep. Um, and so it's obviously super useful for medical school. Their lectures are very lecture style, as in like a person is narrating through a PowerPoint, but it's just another way of the information being presented. So I think it's pretty useful. The next one is Armando Hasudanan. I think that's how you say it. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Sorry, Armando. He does these really, really good videos. They're kind of like where he draws the topic as he's explaining it. Super good, super useful, especially if you're like a really visual learner like I am. I find them so helpful. The next YouTube channel is called Osmosis. Um, I This is a really good YouTube channel. Again, I, there's all really, these are all really good, obviously. Um, but yeah, they do. I like their YouTube videos because they cover all the topics. They even like talk about like specific diseases, really good for medical school. But I like them because a lot of the videos are really short, like four minutes. And when you're just, when you have like 10 minutes between classes or something, you can watch one or two of those. And you know, it's like you got something out of your little 10 minute break. The next channel I have, I'm pretty sure everybody has heard of this one before. It's called Khan Academy, specifically Khan Academy Medicine again, just catered towards medicine. They do the same kind of thing where they like write on like a blackboard kind of thing and explain it as they go. I find it pretty useful. Um, just another way to kind of solidify the information. Um, the next YouTube channel that kind of requires like a paid subscription if you want like more information is called Dr. Najib. Um, I, I like his videos. He's not my favorite channel out there just because a lot of the topics he'll do like a kind of a preview of the topic before he like and then he'll post the whole topic 
on his personal website um, which I mean it's not expensive to actually subscribe to his, his website but I just don't because there's so many different free ones that like I don't feel the need to subscribe to his website but yeah he does a lot of really good anatomy and physiology videos it's just kind of sometimes some of the videos he shows you the entire topic and then sometimes he only shows you like the first 15 minutes and then the rest of it you're kind of on your own <laughs> Um, the next lecture style channel we have is AK Lectures. They're really good. They are very detailed. It's a gentleman, he stands in front of a whiteboard that's already written out and explains every single thing on the whiteboard. So if that works for you, then that's a really good channel. Doesn't really work that well for me, honestly, but a lot of my classmates use it. So I wanted to include that one in here. My favorite youtube channel that use like i could literally like i might i'm gonna buy the merch for this channel <laughs> the ninja nerd ninja nerd channel i talked about it before in another video that i posted ninja nerd it is so good he zach and his team i think daniel and i forgot the girl's name they talk about every single topic in um that you need to know in medical school. He's a PA, I'm, I can't remember exactly what the camera guy does. I'm pretty sure he might be a PA too. No, he's a uh, physical therapist. Yeah, they're a PA physical therapist, I think, and they are like medically related duo. Super good, they talk about every single thing for physiology, physiology and biochemistry. They are such a good source. Anatomy, Zach literally will show you the skull and go through every single part of every single bone does it in a really easy to follow way. I think it's so good. Um, they'll also do videos on like certain diseases or whatever. So they have all kinds of different stuff and it's all really, really good resources. Okay, getting into the anatomy specific section of this channel list. I've got three really good anatomy channels. Um, number one is Anatomy Zone. Number two is Sam Webster. And number three is Ken Hub. Anatomy Zone and Ken Hub are, they do like, um, it's kind of like a digital 3D rendering walkthrough of the anatomy, whereas Sam Webster, he kind of does like, he has the actual skeleton and we'll go through the skeleton or he has muscle, the, he has like a, um, the model and he'll like actually go through it. I really enjoy watching Sam Webster because he, he's like, I don't want to say he's a real person because all these people are obviously real people, but he's like, um, he does a really good job of presenting the information in a normal way, like not in a super elevated, scientific, whoa, crazy way. He does it in a more, like he's having a conversation with you and he's just like, oh yeah, like, let's just talk about the skull real quick. So I think it's really good. It's kind of more like you're having a conversation with a friend. <laughs> Love him, definitely recommend. He does kind of get off topic sometimes, but you just gotta roll with it, you know? Okay, and then kind of a wild card into here. It's not really about medical school topics, but it's a super good channel for medical school, and that is Ann King, A-N-K-I-N-G. Again, all these are linked down below. Um, but anyway, that channel goes into very in-depth, very in-depth details on how to get the most out of the Anki decks. Um, how to like do all the different add-ons, how to download all the different decks, all kinds of stuff. So if you're gonna become like an Anki professional, start there. I watched a few of the introduction videos and then I kinda stopped cause I didn't go that far, but really good channel. So I definitely recommend checking them out, especially, I really recommend downloading Anki and figuring that stuff out before you start medical school because it's a little tricky once you get into it and then you're like two months in and you realize you didn't know how to do it correctly. Trust me, figure it out now. Or if you haven't figured it out yet and you're already in medical school, I don't know what you're doing. If you haven't figured out how to use Anki yet, go to that channel, they'll explain everything to you in a really good detail. So the last two channels I have here are more of like a pop culture kind of channels like they're not necessarily medical information but they like sprinkle medical information into their videos um or they talk about like current events or current news in the medical world so i just like to follow them because i i think it's more of a realistic i don't know it's kind of like a lifestyle vlog but it's not lifestyle vlogs at all it's kind of just like 
what it's like to be a doctor, I guess. Not really, but you know. Anyway, those two channels are Dr. Mike and Mama Dr. Jones. If you haven't heard of Dr. Mike, you're living under a rock. He's like got six and a half million follower or subscribers. Um, so I don't really know what you're doing, but he does, like I said, all kinds of videos, like reaction videos. He talks about like common, like commonly talked about news, like the coronavirus, the, I don't know. He just talks about all kinds of random stuff that's per pertinent to like more of like everyday medicine rather than medical like school stuff. I think it's interesting. Um, and then I also follow Mama Dr. Jones because she's so cute. <laughs> um, yeah, so I follow her because again, she kind of does the same thing where she'll talk about like related like current events in medical, the medical field. So she's an OBGYN. So she'll kind of talk about different things like hot topics in the obstetrician field. Is that everybody? Okay, so I think I have covered all of the YouTube videos that I use pretty much regularly or I used in my first year. Um, if I forgot anything, I will once again link those right down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. It really supports my channel, so do it. Okay, well, that's pretty much all I have for today, so I will see you guys next time. Bye.